demonstrate how to clean this 7880 printer model, which is the 24 inch version of the 9880 and physically identical to the 7800 and 9800 printer models. So with this particular printer, I remove this top cover so you can see easily what I'm doing. It's not necessary for you to remove your printer's cover in order to clean. So in, to get to the cleaning area over here on the right side, I'm going to push down this blue lever, which is the paper cutter. I push it down and it unlocks the print head so I can move it out of the way. Because I'm going to be cleaning over here. To unlock the print head, I'm going to push down on the paper cutter lever here. See? And now the print head is unlocked and can manually be moved out of the way. I have my cleaning supplies all ready. I have a bottle of Piezo Flush. I have some bounty paper towels, a syringe with a blunt tip needle, and a foam swab. So first I'm going to clean the capping station. Open the Piezo Flush. draw some into the syringe and set that aside. So using the blunt tip needle is great so I can deposit it right onto the capping station. I want to moisten it and it will drip a little bit and that's okay. You don't want to overflow it too much. And then with the flushing box here, I'm going to moisten the top and it's going to flow right down to cover the whole pad. So right here, this is a spring-loaded pad. This is called the capping station. The pad is porous and ink flows through. There's a raised rubber rim around and that's what seals to the print head and keeps it from drying out. Right here, this is the flushing box and it's stationary. Um, ink is also sprayed here during cleaning cycles and both pads have tubes that lead to the waste ink tank. Both should be cleaned on a regular basis about every few weeks to keep the printer clean and working well. So I let the piezo flush sit for a little while depending on how gunky it is. And then I take a folded paper towel and I'm going to push down gently with my two fingers and letting the paper towel absorb the fluid. That came off. So it's very important that um, you see the metal screen over the capping station and that you can see the rim and that there's not like a caked up gunk around the rim. So it needs to have a good seal with the bottom of the print head or else the print head will dry. And then with the flushing box here, it's not spring loaded. So you can also blot and kind of wipe Again, you want to be able to see the screen so that it's not caked. And that looks pretty good. So between the capping station and flushing box, the wiper blade is up here. And when you do a cleaning cycle, it sprays ink here. The wiper blade um, rolls down. The print head goes across and it wipes any gunk off the bottom of the head. So if the wiper blade is not clean and then it smears gunk on the print head and the cleaning cycles are not effective. So I'm going to use this foam swab. I'm going to moisten just slightly with piezo flush. And the side of the wiper blade that is facing the capping station, so the right side, is the side that actually touches the print head. So that's the most important. See, that was on the wiper blade. So I'm going to wipe a couple times. And then I'm going to squeeze it out. And then I can reuse it again. And I'm going to wipe again. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So I also want to make sure that the wiper blade is fairly straight and it's not warped or bent over um, or cracking or otherwise deteriorating. 
Um, the wiper blade and the capping station in the flushing box should be replaced every few years. It's recommended by Epson annually uh, to keep your printer in good working condition. Now I'm going to clean the bottom of the print head. So you can't access it, but the print head is sliding back and forth right on this raised channel here, right below the paper rollers. So to do that, I'm going to use Bounty paper towel. I'm going to use the smooth side, a half sheet. I'm going to fold it twice, long ways, like that. And now I'm going to moisten it with Piezo Flush. I don't want it to be dripping wet, but I want it to be moist. And I'm going to kind of hold it right here and flatten it down. I especially want it to be flat on this side because I'm going to slide the print head over and I want it to slide over without getting jammed. So now slide it over. Good. If it doesn't slide over easily, don't force it. Push the print head out of the way and push the paper, paper towel down again. So now I'm going to raise the size of the paper towel and I'm going to gently go back and forth. So what I'm doing is wiping the bottom surface of the print head. And now I push the paper towel down so I can slide the print head off. And now you can see all this gunk here was on the bottom surface of the print head. And you want to make sure that the paper towel uh, comes off whole. And so I didn't lose a piece of paper towel under the print head. When you're cleaning or working inside the printer, you want to make sure to be very careful of this plastic strip that runs the whole length of the printer. This is called the encoder strip. It has, it's a clear plastic line and it has very fine vertical lines the whole length. And this is how the printer knows where it is. And if it's bumped off its connect connectors or it has ink smear or anything, uh, the printer will get confused. So that's how to maintain your printer. If you still have stubborn clog nozzles or misfiring nozzles, another thing that you could try is installing a set of piezo flush cartridges and running an initial fill cycle to purge the ink system and allow the piezo flush to clean. Um, a lot of times we have actually brought back clogged print head channels that way. Uh, make sure to reference our video on how to run an initial fill and flush your printer. If you are still unable to clean all the channels in your printer, you can convert it to a high quality piezography printer as long as you have at least six good channels. Um, the piezography will produce higher quality black and white prints than anything that you can get with the standard Epson driver. Happy printing!